Hiya! Today we've got a story called Famous Fairies. Here are just some of the famous fairies you may have come across in books. Can you think of some more? You could make a note of them. Tinkerbell was a little fairy who helped Peter Pan. She wanted children everywhere to believe in her. Titania is Queen of the Fairies in a play by William Shakespeare called A Midsummer's Night's Dream. You may read it when you're older. The fairies who live with Titania have lovely names such as Cobweb, Peas Blossom and Mustard Seed. In the story of Cinderella, a fairy godmother helped to make Cinderella's dreams come true. Like most fairies, she was able to appear and disappear whenever she liked. In the story of Sleeping Beauty, there are twelve good fairies and one bad fairy. This is something that hardly ever happens. And in this case, it was because human beings had been silly and thoughtless. The king forgot to invite the 13th fairy to his little daughter's christening. She was upset, of course, but the other fairies made sure that she was never forgotten again. And she has been as sweet as honey ever since. Have you ever seen the Tooth Fairy? She's hardly ever seen, but she has a very important job to do. Taking care of children's teeth when they fall out. To make way for bigger, grown-up teeth. She may even leave you a little present in return for your tooth. The end. Thank you.